Hello, welcome to Hike Arizona. We are going to show you how to convert Google Driving Directions into a file that you can upload into your GPS receiver. Let's go to the map. Let's say that I live in Flagstaff. I'm going to zoom in on Flagstaff and put that red crosshair in the middle right there over a known intersection where I want to depart from. I'm going to right click for my context menu and I'm going to go down direct to directions and click from. Okay, with that in mind, now let's pick my hike. Let's say I want to go to Flatiron down in Phoenix. And I am going to... We have it right there. I'm going to go ahead and send that to Route Manager. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to zoom in to the trailhead on this. It already has my starting point for directions. Now I'm going to click on, let me show you what I did. I right click from my context menu, go down to directions and click two. And it's gonna go all the way from Flagstaff down to the flat iron. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We could change it and say, oh no, I live in Sedona instead. And I could change it up like that. You can change the route from the middle, but I highly suggest against it, as you cannot undo it once you do it. You'll have to start over. Okay, so with this in mind, we could just download the directions right here that you see down here in the lower left corner, but I have that flat iron in my route manager, and I'd like to get this route in there too, so I'm going to send it to route manager. It's asking me, do I want to include directions as waypoints? Uh, for me, I do not, because when I'm driving, I'm looking at the line on the uh, receiver as opposed to reading while I'm driving. So I'm going to click Cancel. And you can see that that made it a track. So I'm going to rename that Drive to Flatiron. And since that's going to come first, I'm going to drag it up top. So now I have this nice file, and I can do my Flatiron Saturday. And I'm going to save it. And then I can go ahead and I can download it in whatever format I want. GPX is the universal format. So I would download that GPX and then I would just, I have a Garmin Oregon. If you have any GPS receiver made in the last few years, should have a USB cable, you just plug it in and you would drag this file that's been downloaded into your GPS receiver. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.